85X is an awesome printer, but to be able to offer it at such a low price, Flashforge had to find some ways to save money. And one of the ways they decided to save money was by skipping the internal camera. And the good news is you can actually pick up the camera separately and the box says it's for the 5M, 5M Pro but the 85X uses the exact same camera and the installation should be really really easy so let's have a look I have a print running right now and I'm pretty sure this is not hot swappable but oh what the hell I'm going to risk it so in the box you get surprise surprise a camera and a screw and that's it and you can see there's a screw hole right over here in this corner and I believe the screw is going to align with this hole here if we look on the inside there is a ledge and that's the one that the uh, camera is going to rest on so I'm just going to fit it right over here for now right so the cameras right here I started the screw off camera because I only have one hand and then the screen can come off whoops and the camera cable comes right through this hole and it's going to plug in right into this port on the back of the screen just like that and then the screen can go back on and then all we have to do is go into settings turn on the camera and turn on the video and now I'm going to find out if it is actually hot swappable so let's have a look okay so luckily I did not break it by plugging it while the printer was running you can see this is the slicer and if I go into Flashmaker up, I have my 85X right over here and the feed is working just fine. That's a good upgrade. 